To Nigeria now and the next installment of our series on northeastern Nigeria. The government is busy reconstructing the region after years under the Boko Haram insurgency. Authorities are trying to resettle millions of people displaced by the violence. But for some refugees, they simply cannot wait. CCTV's Kalechi Emekalam tells the story of one refugee trying to build a new community for those closest to him. A typical day for May Booker and his family away from their home in faraway Konjuga, one of the towns initially overrun by the Islamic group Boko Haram. He had taken his family to an IDP camp in Maiduguri after their escape, but decided to move out of the camp recently. He says life in camp only made them destitute. The past one year has been a huge struggle. No help from anywhere. We hear that aid is getting to several other places around us, but not here. The older ones go into the town to beg before they get some money to buy a meal. He then moved to this area some few kilometers from the capital, Maiduguri, and has since been building a small community for himself, his family and friends. We ran into the bush after some Air Force fighter jets raided our village in search of Boko Haram. We were in the bush for nearly six months. Insurgents caught and killed some of our children. That is why we had to escape into town. I initially stayed in the camp, but life there wasn't satisfactory. So I came to this town, and the village ahead was kind enough to give me an open space where now I built a roof over our heads. Many of his children had been killed by the insurgents, but his youngest son, Bukar, is lucky to be alive. He was next to have been taken away either to be killed or forced to join the terrorists. The terrorists also threatened to take away his little cousin, Mariam, so both were forcefully married to avoid any of such from happening. Now the family has been trying to pick up their pieces since their traumatic experience, but that hasn't been an easy task no aid. More than two million people have been displaced from their homes and have been living in poor conditions as IDPs. While a huge lot are still living in IDP camps, others like May Booker can't wait any longer. He's moved out of the camp and eagerly waiting for the day when it's all safe to return to his original home. Although relative peace is gradually returning to the state, Many, like Mai Bukhar, are still unable to return home for fear of reprisal attacks. So for now, all they do is hope that someday soon it will be safe enough to resume a normal life in their original homes. Kilechia Mekalam, CCTV Maiduguri, Nigeria.